So we live in Seattle, but we're really lucky because we have one of the only houses that actually has palm trees in the front yard, which is important because we're trying to sell this as Los Angeles or Los Santos. We don't have nice cars or anything, but uh, Gar let us borrow his house and his car for the shoot. Uh, he's a great supporter of the arts in Seattle, and that is how we were able to get some great, authentic looking pieces for our GTA video. Yeah, great. But it looked like you were almost gonna hit the gate. So we were in beautiful downtown Seattle today. Uh, it's supposed to be our fake downtown L Los Angeles. <laughs> L Los Angeles. Just trying to basically get a quick shot of the camera whipping by as a jet flies through these buildings. I don't really know what it looks like to see a jet fly through a city, so I'm trying to guess how much speed it would have going by. We just killed a man. I was, I was in the back seat here, filming, pretending down. as if as if my view was the head, the first person view of our main character. And I'm using and my hands had, here to uh, be the first person view of a driver. So we had Steven driving this car, and then we had Riley on the green screen. I'm Riley, and I have the very important job of getting hit by the car. <laughs> Ideally, we will replace the green with some nice driving footage and then add Riley being hit. Add some blood, add some broken glass, all that fun stuff. And it should be a great shot. Gonna steal this classic 1991 Ford Escort with that powerful American motor. This is the Grand Theft Auto of GTA. <laughs> so, I'm gonna run up, do a quick look, and then break the window. Open the door in one motion. Riley's That's right. the resident GTA expert. Yeah. It's true. It is all I the animation. We don't know what we're doing. <laughs> in order to shoot the first person perspective of Trevor's character, we got a... It's actually from a welder's helmet. It's just a little um, forehead band that goes around. We taped a GoPro to it, and it gives us a pretty good first-person perspective. After that, when I dreamed, it was like a release. My brain would take a... One. Bang! Two. Bang! Trevor killed the king in this shot first person point of view of coming to the king's house. I was following close behind with an LED panel, <laughs> which I'm flashing to use as the muzzle flare. And action. I'm Rick Walters and I'm bloody. Just when Michael thought he was done having visions into Trevor's mind, it turns out Franklin is now having visions into Michael's mind and controlling him. Spoiler alert. So Michael wakes up, he's covered in blood, and then Megan over here is going to be a dead body <laughs> laying in front of him. Hi, I'm Jason P. I'm playing Trevor. It's a real badass. Godfrey, I just put a bunch of blood on your guy. I think we could uh, go for some bloody the knuckles now. 
the I kid. Think, yeah, he probably. Be, I don't think Trevor cares what he gets. On. <laughs> <laughs> That's the sound of Jason Key's knuckles right there. They growl. <laughs> Hi, I'm uh, I'm Charles Harris White. I'll be playing uh, Franklin and Lamar today. Hey, Franklin, you coming or not? Hey, Franklin, are you coming or not? You should check out my sister at The Satisfaction. Also, check out if a Black Weirdo party comes to you, I'll probably be DJing there, so check those out. There's one more thing we could try. It's experimental, but it has worked on some of my patients. Hey, whatever it takes, Doc. Just make me right. <laughs> All right. You just swallow that jug of chloroform. Okay. And that's gonna put you out. You're gonna have some weird feelings when you wake up in the morning. I assure you, it's all natural. It just needs to work its way through your system. It's, uh, it's a way to put you to sleep without you screaming and waking up crying. I think it might help, but it could also make you a psychotic killer. I'm gonna fix you what's called a roofie colada in the industry. There's a pretty solid chance that after undergoing EMDR, you'll murder your family, your friends, everyone nearby. In fact, I have seen many times where someone just crashes a fighter jet into a wall. No reason. Don't f with me, Doc. Make me better. I'm counting on you. Can't promise you those terms exactly, but we'll get close. I also need the codes to your gun cabinet. How does it sound? Yeah? All right. I'll count down from 300. <laughs> can, I take, can I take that line again? Michael, where the hell you been? It's been days. I haven't seen you. I've been calling and I've been calling and you haven't been picking up your phone and the kids haven't seen you in forever. All Tracy does is spend time with that boy of hers and Jimmy, well, he just sits on his ass and he plays video games all the time. Goddamn video games are the worst. I hate it. And I can't even get to the country club anymore because he didn't pay the bills and I can't work out. All of my personal trainers quit and I'm going to look like crap and you're never going to want to be with me ever again. What's, how does the king affect me? What's the king doing? What's, what's he doing? Been doing this? Why would I, why do I want him dead? You want to move forward. Okay. Yeah. And you have hit a, you hit a ceiling. Boots and if you don't, if the king doesn't go, there will never be a spot for you anywhere higher than you are now. Okay. So the one person you can actually use is Michael because he's out. Give me some lead and just say like, I really need this from you. Michael, I, I, I really don't want to come to you on hands and knees, but I, I really need this from you. Michael, do you get it, Michael? You owe me. And I don't want the king's head. Or it's your wife's. So I made a choice. This is David Rittenhouse. You may recognize him from the PBS video. He's the cheesy buff guy who is enslaved to reality TV. And he let us put cheese balls all over his face and all over his hands. Just, this time he is letting us dress him up in a ton of blood. Uh, he's the thug at the beginning of the GTA video who gets chased down and shot by Trevor and has his leg stuffed down a toilet. I just took a, the worst dump of my life. Oh no. <laughs> when you're designing a bloody bathroom, you sort of need to ask yourself, where would the blood go if you were sawing a body part and flushing it down your toilet? And the answer is everywhere. <laughs> this is Trevor's victim's stump leg, and Trevor's gonna be kicking it down the toilet. <laughs> we have this great scene between Michael and Trevor, um, dramatic scene at, at Michael's door to his house, uh, but we just, we just felt like we needed to cut some of the dialogue, so here's what we ended up with. Michael, man. You gotta get out of here. So, in order to fully reproduce the GTA universe, we're adding in a bunch of little details from GTA. So, for the shot where Michael is watching the news in the morning, the news report is actually Weasel News, which is a recurring uh, news station in all the GTA games. To Weasel News. Police are searching for suspects of a flush. Do the, the, the loudest no that you can. Okay. <laughs> no! <laughs> Wait, David, your turn. <laughs> no! <laughs> you ready? Here's yeah. mine. 
No! <laughs>